Hello, and welcome to the 72nd episode of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'll be reviewing a game from my past, Phoenix. Phoenix was released in 1980 by Amstar and licensed to Century. My first time playing this game was in the waiting room of my dentist's office in Oak Lawn, Illinois. Phoenix is a space shooter game in which you control your ship with two buttons for left and right movement, and one button to fire, and one button for your shield. You need to shoot your way through a series of different sized phoenix birds on your way to defeating the mothership. You control an X-shaped ship with an endless supply of ammunition as well as a shield. Pressing the shield button will raise the shield around your ship for about one second, although you will not be able to move when your shield is active. After your shield stops, it takes about three and a third seconds for it to recharge. The first level of the game begins with 16 mini yellow and pink phoenix birds. They will be formed in a large oval. Similar to games like Black Sea and Galaga, the enemies will begin in their formation and they will attack downward and shoot at your ship. Although unlike those games, these enemies will not only attack one at a time, but they will attack in groups. Even on the early levels, these enemies will attack in groups of four, and on later levels the groups will be larger. When enemies attack in groups, they will stay in the same formation no matter where they are on the screen. You need to destroy all the birds to advance to the next level. The second level will have pink and green birds, which will be in the formation shaped like the birds themselves. This level plays the same as level 1, although you will have the ability to have two shots on screen as opposed to one. Although it looks like your shots are faster, the speed of the shot itself is the same. Once you destroy all the birds, you will advance to a new enemy on level 3. Level 3 begins with 8 eggs that will begin in an angle formation and they will move from left to right and back again, looking like an S-shaped pattern. Shooting these eggs will award you 50 points each. After about 5 seconds, these eggs will hatch into large phoenix birds. You need to shoot the large birds in the center of their body because if you shoot them in the wing, the wing will disappear but it will keep on flying, although you will earn 20 points for doing so. Somehow these birds are able to fly with no wings, although the phoenix is able to regenerate his wings and continue on. The birds are also able to become eggs like at the beginning and rise from the ashes like the myth and become full-sized birds once again. Once you shoot all 8 enemies, whether they're eggs or birds, you will advance to level 4. Level 4 will have 8 pink eggs, 4 on each side, and they will move left to right, just like the blue ones, passing each other in the middle. This level plays exactly like level 3, and once you clear all 8 enemies, this will bring you to level 5. Level 5 is a mothership stage. The mothership consists of a large yellow ship with a large purple boss in the center. You need to shoot this boss to clear the level. The boss is protected by dual shields. The first shield you need to shoot your way through is an orange convex shield. Each shot that hits the orange portion will damage it slightly, and you need to shoot a clear path through this shield before you can get a shot at the boss. The boss is also protected by a purple rotating shield. This shield moves from left to right, and you need to shoot the same area twice in order to get a shot through. Since the shield is constantly moving, getting the gap in the purple shield isn't as easy as it sounds. The boss ship is also protected by 16 of the smaller birds that will also attack your ship. If you destroy all the smaller birds, they will be replaced by 16 more. Shooting the boss once will end the level and the game will continue and repeat the levels in the same order, although at a harder difficulty, and the birds will sometimes have different formations. Scoring for the game is as follows. You will earn 20, 40, or 60 points for the small birds based on whether they are in formation or charging. If the small birds are flying upwards with their wings spread, you will earn 200 points. You will earn 50 or 100 for shooting the phoenix eggs. You will earn between 100 and 800 points for destroying the large phoenix based randomly on the number of wings and the distance away from your ship. And you will earn between 1000 and 9000 points for the boss based on how low it is when you destroy it. I enjoyed playing this game and highly recommend playing it whether in an arcade setting or on an emulator. I enjoy this game more than Mikey, but not as much as Dig Dug, so Phoenix flies into the 24th position overall. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any games you'd like me to review, please leave a message below or on my homepage. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Wednesday and Sunday.